Hey guys, welcome to this week's video. I'm Sabrina, if you're new to my channel, welcome, hello. So here on my channel, if you're new, I do lots of beauty makeup content sprinkled with a few other things into the mix once in a while. Today, I'm gonna be reacting to my first YouTube video ever. And I haven't watched this one in a long time and I'm kind of scared what's gonna happen. I know it's gonna be really bad, embarrassing. I'm surprised still all my videos are public. I want to do this video just to kind of see how far I've come. Maybe not in like numbers wise, but in my content creation and my skills because I believe I started my channel, maybe was it 2016, 2015, somewhere around there. I think it's gonna be really cool to see my skill set, how it's changed, and then of course my content creation. Okay, so just need a screen record. I literally looked up how to do this and then now of course I forget. All right, so you can see how my thumbnails have really changed. Got this cool colorful thing going on. Really loved that kind of vibe in the situation here. What's with my YouTube? Is this happening to anyone else? I have like these white things on all like videos, other people's videos, you know, subscription box. So annoying. Anyways, we're gonna go all the way down to the bottom. I remember I loved this one, the bronze and glowy makeup tutorial. Okay, so my first video, I actually love my thumbnails that I started with. Um, I've consistently done like the black and white. I'm really into that. Um, but the fall makeup look was my first video ever. I remember being super proud of it, but then low key a little bit embarrassed because you're putting out your first video. Before doing my first video, I did lots of like filming and stuff like that. So I felt pretty comfortable around the camera. I mean, we will see. So let's just click on it and find out. It's 14 minutes long. Hey guys, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys this fall makeup look featuring this kind of berry mauve matte look. That's how I'm going to describe it. <laughs> so yeah, let's get into it. First of all, I feel like I was just so much younger. I know it. this wasn't too, too long ago, which makes it even more embarrassing, but um, it's just, it's cute. Um, I put the setup with like the twinkle lights, which I clearly have now. Um, but what I did, I had a clothing rack from Ikea. I put a white sheet on top and then, cause I wanted the light from the window cause I didn't have any lighting at the time. So I wanted the white from the window, but then what was behind the window wasn't a good kind of situation. So that's why I did that, which I feel like was very popular at the time, not in the sense of putting a sheet on the clothing rack, but I think I made it do. You can't really see any of the wrinkles. I'm so tan, cause I think I filmed this one in September. So, oh, geez. Going with the BB cream. This is the Vino Clear Complexion BB cream. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with- One more thing, why didn't I do my hair? Oh my goodness. Product. The only way I like it is with a sponge type product like a beauty blender. But, um, and this product only comes in two shades. This is medium. I'm sorry, I keep on pausing it, but my sideburns. Um, I've recently started shaving my sideburns, the little twinkle razor and dealing with that situation. My hair's just a mess here, and I feel like I've come a long way. The light one. So if you kind of have it in between, you'll have to like mix it, and if you're darker or lighter, it won't work for you. So in the summer, like with a tan, this works perfect. I still have a tan in the earlier time of the fall, so I can still use this, so this works well for me. But yeah, I just want a lightweight product, basically. Oh, little tunes from you too. I used to use these all the time. I don't really put music to my videos anymore. I should though. I'm gonna go into two of my concealers. I'm gonna be using the Superstay Better Skin Concealer and Corrector in Ivory, and I'm gonna be putting that under my eyes. It's just super lightweight concealer that will correct. It First of all, I used so much drugstore makeup back in the day, and I remember I really liked that Superstay concealer. I don't even know if they make it anymore. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I haven't used the Maybelline in a while, but I remember liking that one quite a bit too. I need to dip back into the drugstore and try a few more products, definitely. My personal fave, but I'll be using that. I'm putting that on all my scars on my face. My sweat scars? My skin was so good then. <laughs> That's really bright for you, girl. I don't use really brightening concealers anymore. That's one thing that's changed. That one's good for my skin, huh? My skin texture is so nice. I just like my face makeup to sit into my face 
and just kind of get in there so it's not going to get all cakey and stuff like that. So I'm going to go use my brow, do my brows now. <laughs> Can't talk today. Um, I feel like now I would have edited that out, all my like stuttering and like mess up of words. I mean, sometimes I leave them in, but most of the time I like to edit them out just because it bothers me. And I'm going to be using two very affordable products. This is the e.l.f. eyebrow kit. Um, I'm not a big fan of this, but I run on that other brow stuff, so I'm just using this for now, and I just use the wax part. I still have that e.l.f. eyebrow thing. Um, I don't, I don't think it's the same one, but... I actually really like it. Um, I don't know what I was saying there. It's not like the bat world's best product, but it's not bad. It's like pretty good. It's nice and creamy. Um, I'm also gonna use the Essence Make Me Brow yes. Eyebrow yes. Gel Mascara. And I'm gonna go and brush up through. It's tinted. This works really well. I'm really impressed with it. Okay, I haven't used that product in so long. I used that before I used Glossier Boy Brow. I repurchased it like so many times. I loved it. Um, I'm out of boy brown. I haven't got a chance to order it online, so maybe I'll stop by and pick it up. It's like three, four bucks. It's such a good price. It's pretty good, I think, from what I can remember. If you're looking for a super duper cheap brow gel that's tinted, I've already said that many times, this is perfect. That was a nail brush. Oh my goodness. I didn't have any brushes then. I made it do with whatever I had, because Morphe wasn't in the world yet. Or I didn't have my hands on it. That's all? I'm just gonna line it out a little bit. Now that my face makeup has sat on my face a little bit. Not that my brows look that great right now because I don't really have them filled in. But my brows have changed just when the way I like groom them. I think I remember that. I didn't touch the front. I just put product here because I wanted that like fade that was super trendy then but I did it in a very natural way. So it ends up making it look like I just have a huge gap between my brows. Mm. Sorry, I'm not even talking about the powder, but the natural bronze I have around the perimeter of my face is beautiful. The Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in bronzer, and it's super duper buttery. I love this product. Oh my goodness. I'll just give you a nice matte natural bronze look, and the packaging's awesome, it smells like summer maybe like coconut it's amazing it does have a strong smell so that's a warning but i love this product it's amazing yeah best bronzer in the world i love it i still use it and it's a holy grail it smells like heaven interesting i put my contour or i think i'm kind of contour because i use a smaller brush but i guess it's a bronzer very low compared to what i do now what's that face I mean, you don't really need more bronzer on your forehead, but I'm using such a tiny brush. Again, all I had. So I don't know if you can get this anymore, but this is basically a cushion blush, and it's by Tony Molly. Now to my. I remember loving that blush so much. I had to get rid of it because I just had it way too long. Work part. We're gonna be doing. The eye makeup. And first off, I'm going to be going into this Elf Mad for Matte palette, which has beautiful mattes. They do have quite a bit of fallout, but they are super smooth, blendable, and they have beautiful shades. I actually, I wouldn't say, I don't think I meant fallout. I think you just gotta kind of like tap off the brush as you do like most shadows. But like I've used them a few times now and I don't notice any fallout. They're really good and I remember Tati doing a video on them and I quickly grabbed them because I was looking for anything super affordable. Um, no, not much. I'm gonna go into this color right here, which is like, I'm really bad at describing colors. It's like an orangey tone nude I'm just gonna use this as a trend. I would say it's much more like pinky, <laughs> but okay. Worst. Yeah, the mattes were so creamy, so bundable. I had the little dollar store fluffy brushes. Um, and I found a lot of those kind of colors. My still my favorite for just putting in the crease. Is it focusing? It's got pigmentation. It's crazy. Same fluffy brush, and I'm just gonna concentrate it more into the crease. Um, don't, not bring it up so high, just bring it right in the crease and not bring it so close in towards the eye. Yeah, I really blow up my eyeshadow now, that's for sure. So I'm going to go for this like amber color. This is the L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadows. These are amazing. They're loose eyeshadows. And this is Amber Rush. Oh, that's cool. It's so pretty. And the pigmentation. 
foundation like if you had this in a lighter color it would be like a pow highlight mm -hmm. i mean i feel like the drugstore is probably up their game but i remember drugstores never have the best eyeshadow elf matte for mattes were a step in the right direction um, but they were mattes and I didn't really have a lot of like shimmery so I love these individual pots from L'Oreal I think a lot of people are obsessed with them um, I still have it, love it but I just don't reach for it as much as I would like a palette I'm gonna pair beautifully for this look and for the wonderful Spessy uh, lipstick I'm gonna put on you'll get what I said about later my brows are like brushed sideways I'm kind of like putting on this product with my fingers I'm yeah. gonna go ahead and pack it on totally again totally agree <laughs> So I'm gonna go with a fluffy brush with no product on it, and I'm gonna go with that first matte color in the Mad Pro Matte palette, and I'm just gonna use that as like a blending brush to make sure there's no harsh lines, just very little product. Tap off lots of the excess, and then just go ahead and blend it out. What? Oh my goodness, I can't believe I, I, yeah, I used to do this. I used to take like a nude eyeshadow and just blend it out. It's already so blended, like it's not even that dark. I don't know why I went in with a nude because it's like obviously no harsh lines. I guess, like I like thought maybe I would go on my brow bone with that, but no, I'm just blending them. Okay, works. Tap off all the access. This one has a lot. First of all, I'm saying access, not excess. And so I go, well, you don't need to bang it that hard. There wasn't too much fallout, just on the light little. That's enough. Interesting, I would use a pencil brush there. So that one takes a little bit more work to get there. Interesting. And I do like to go in with a bigger brush to blend it. Now for my absolute favorite part, I'm going to be taking the Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter. It is amazing, but it's just Becca highlighters are so beautiful. They're super... Um, pigmented, shimmery, just beautiful. They're, they're very buttery. Look at that. That's just mm -hmm. so pretty. Jaclyn Hill created the Champagne Pop. I already love Jaclyn Hill so much. That's honestly, I'm like, I'm picking up this one. It has Jaclyn Hill's face on it. Um, absolutely love her. Go check out. Uh, Still love Jaclyn Hill. She's awesome. Um, all her products that I've tried from her are great. Yeah, Champagne Pop was, I think, my first, like, purchase for myself and not a gift um, at Sephora with more of a high-end product, so I cherish that. Still, I'm obsessed with that highlight. I still think Becca does the best highlights. With all that said, I'm going to go ahead and take a fan brush yeah, and just fan highlight brushes. wherever I feel like it. Sometimes I highlight too much, but honestly, you can highlight. So pretty. The highlight. <laughs> I remember doing a line with eyeliner along my lash line was hard in those days. Um, yeah, but I really liked that Revlon liner. I haven't used it in a while. A one coat get up and grow mascara, and I mm -hmm. believe this is in black as black because I usually get everything in black as black unless there's something darker. Um, this mascara is very nice. It just make, gives you really natural butt length and lashes. I'm not a huge fan of it because I'm not a huge fan of super dry formulas, and this is a dry formula. So, warning, if you like wet formulas, don't get this one, but if you like dry formulas, you're gonna love this. And I still love it, but it's just not my favorite mascara. But one thing I love is I like how it has like a click and like a lock kind of thing on the packaging. I really like that. You go all on me for that. It just, it's very satisfying. You're just I know my mascara's tight. I love how I felt bad saying negative things on products, so I had to like lift up the brand a little bit, so I talked about the vlog, but it was very satisfying. It felt like it was close. Um, I got this because Tati did a video with this and she really liked it. Um, I bought it and I was so confused why she liked it. I did not like it. We'll see what it does to my lashes. Now I'm gonna finish off the look with- Yeah, I noticed nothing. Did I even curl my lashes? The Maybelline Sensational. Lipstick in Touch of Spice. I love this lipstick. This is a matte lipstick. Kind of I was obsessed with the Maybelline matte lipsticks. They're so good. I think they're the best lipsticks from the drugstore. Um, quite comparable to MAC lipstick. Fortunately, I had so many still from those days. 
and I had to throw them out because there were like stuff growing on them because I just they were way back in my drawer and I forgot about them. It's not a color I'd go for now, but I think it's really pretty. Very mauve tone to it as well. I'm gonna go ahead and put this below my lips. One thing is I can't go without a lip liner anymore. I've like gotten addicted like in the last year to lip liner and I love overlining my lips. So this is weird. I struggled to just put lipstick on. Man, I've come a long way. Why would you get the full effect of that again? I sometimes once in a while I do those kind of weird like pants in my videos but like it's just funny because like there's nothing much to this makeup. If you enjoyed this video and got inspired by it be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos in the future. Oh one thing I need to say my shirt and shoulders are so uneven sometimes they're still like that but this is before I went to the chiropractor to fix my whole shoulder so I was quite uneven so all my shirts would shift and one would always be higher than the other. Man, like, it's crazy just like the little things that have changed, not just in the makeup. Um, looking forward to doing lots more makeup related um, videos, so stay excited. Okay, so that was my first YouTube video. Um, you can go ahead if you want to see the full thing in full screen if you want to watch it, but, ah! Oh my goodness. I still get embarrassed sometimes for my videos to this day, but like it doesn't really phase me. I don't really care, so I just upload them anyways. <laughs> and you know, it was a really soft, nice, natural makeup look. Nothing was too wrong with it, and I think it was just kind of fun to watch it. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching my reaction to it, me mostly critiquing my past self. I'm definitely gonna go ahead and like watch some more of my videos, um, just because they bring back memories. If you enjoyed it, that'd be awesome if you'd give it a big thumbs up, let me know that you liked it and subscribe so you can stay tuned for all my future videos that will be coming up. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a great rest of your day. Bye!